Hello. You gotta get. Hello. How are you? Oh, I'm good. How are you? I'm just fine. God, I love the uh, Aussie accent. <laughs> <laughs> I made it myself. <laughs> you, yeah. <laughs> Homegrown, right? <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited I made it to a show. Oh, I'm so glad you did. I've been, uh, we've been talking uh, via the comments for what, what seems like, uh, well, it's been a few weeks, hasn't it? Yeah, a few weeks. I really yeah. love your show. It's awesome. Oh, well, thanks. We don't have um, thanks so much. Colleen shows here. So it's really? something new. Uh, Snowy, you're starting to worry me. Um, if, if I might, uh, if I might jabber here for a minute. I've um, I, I've been I've been selling things uh, across the pond to you guys uh, for a long time, and and what I mean by that is um, I used to build drums and you know like the snare drums and things, and and a lot of you guys would would or you know just buy those from me. I, I didn't take orders or anything, and I got to meet a whole lot of good people. We we kept a, a good conversation going for a long time, but I had no idea two things: one, you didn't have talk shows over there, and two. Uh, you don't have e-cigs either. Just they're just not allowed. Is that right? Uh, yeah. The uh, if it's got nicotine in it, it's illegal completely. But um, depending wow. on what state you're in, you can get uh, the juice with no nicotine in it. Um, uh -huh. You can't buy or sell them here. But um, wow. if you do. There's um they're like five hundred dollars, three hundred dollars just to buy a basic set. So what? Yeah. Oh. They're petitioning to get it made legal though. Oh God, I hope it works for your guys' sake. I hope it works. Now, did I understand that you're a smoker? Yeah. I hmm. want to quit though. Well, I really need to quit though. Yeah. And did you uh, did you watch my vaping um, show from last night? Yeah, I watched that. That was a good one. I wanted to. Um, oh, I still kind of want to try it. But yeah, what after what happened to my uncle? That really scared me and put me off. Because <coughs> um, he had. I, I wouldn't let it scare you. He tried it. He bought it cheap off eBay, and his heart rate went up, and they couldn't stop it for three hours, and he ended up mm. spending the night in hospital. But he's all right wow. now. But That's yeah, apparently good. it was to I'm... do with the vape. Hmm. Yeah, like I said, I've never, I've never heard of that sort of reaction uh, to to a vape. Uh, so I have to imagine, like I said in the comments, that it it was probably just some, uh, you know, uh, shady brand. And I think you agreed. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me, because I, I don't know, you know, eBay. <laughs> Anyone can do anything to anything, I guess. Never yeah. Know. Do you know? It, do you happen to know if it came from like uh, China, straight from China? Um, I think it came from like Bali or something. Which is oh, okay. Like, oh well, Bali's like a four-hour flight from the top of Australia, but everything's like super cheap and imitation, sort of, kind of like China is. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Not really trustworthy, right? Not really. Not good quality. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. <laughs> that is a shame. <laughs> yeah. So, what? Uh, what I would suggest to you, and and is is am I correct in assuming that um, you still can buy them from eBay or maybe uh, other e-commerce places, or you just can't buy and sell them right there in in Australia? Uh, physically in Australia, you can't, but um, okay. you can order them internationally and bring them oh, in okay. to Australia. Oh, Even the nicotine, depending <clears throat> on what state you're in. I'm in Western Australia, sure. so nicotine is banned completely. Wow. Well, nicotine outside of cigarettes, right? Oh, yeah, outside of cigarettes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> well, they would they be able to find out if you, uh, for, or let's say you ordered from a reputable uh, vape company, would they be able to find out if if um, if you had if it had nicotine in it? 
Um, actually, I don't know how they would check that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if customs. I don't know if mail here. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, then customs so, probably wouldn't uh, wouldn't put a hold on it unless it said on the outside, you know, contains nicotine. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, uh, here's what I would do. There is a, uh, a forum out there, and I'm sure you can get a hold of it. It's uh, ECF, and I think it's Electronic Cigarette Forum. Um, and you'll have to oh, do okay. a search because I don't think that, yeah, I don't think that's a, the exact URL. But uh, go on there and, and find some reputable um, uh, manufacturers, right, of e-juice, yep. of e-cig. Uh, most of the e-cig uh, electronics come from China, but it's the, it's the e-cig juice that you're really uh, – that would really cause even the problem like your uncle had um, and, and, and find out what everybody, um, uh, um, you know, thinks is the reputable. Still there? Pond problems. Uh, yeah. Are you still there? I accidentally bumped my mic. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I accidentally muted my mic. <laughs> oh, okay. So did you hear me? Um, yeah, I'll check that out. Yeah, find out what they're saying, and I think you'll find – I could actually send you um, – you, you see right here – whoops. Right there is my email address. Do you see it right in the middle? Video call in at gmail.com. Uh, drop me a line. Oh, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Yeah, drop me a line, and I'll actually send you a couple of companies that I use and um, and, and have used for years. So I know their their product is reputable, and, and in fact, last night's show I actually showed one of them from the vapor station. <clears throat> oh, but um, awesome. but you won't, yeah, you won't have that kind of problem out of that. And um, uh, I'm I'm just trying to do for you what I what I've done for you know other people. And if if you really want to get off of it, this is one of the best ways to do it, because I have to assume that you've tried everything like I did. Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's Doctor, um, <laughs> oh, he sent me for chest X-rays to see if I've got um, either lung cancer or COPD. Uh -huh. But um, he says that I'm too young to have it. I haven't been smoking long enough, so he doesn't think there's cool. anything wrong with me. But well, that's we'll good. You know, you do sound. Week. Yeah, you know, you do sound younger um, than I thought. Yeah, I'm thirty. Hang on, how old am I? <laughs> 36 in my you don't have to say. You, yeah, you don't have to say. <laughs> of course, of course, we're not watching you, so you know. <laughs> oh, tell me about it. <laughs> the older I get, the the harder it becomes to remember. <laughs> oh no! Right. Yeah. Okay. I'm so like that's good. That's that's really. <laughs> Well, that is good news um, that, that you're that young and haven't smoked for as long. Hell, I, I smoked as long as you've been alive, and I'm doing okay. You know, here we are 10 years later being on e-cigs, so I'm, I, you know, I, I really think now's the time for you. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't wait too much longer. <clears throat> yeah, that gives me hope. Good. Yeah, so, I, so I drop me an email. I was really worried that it was, like, too late. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, uh... I, sh I suppose I should ask, how, how much are you smoking a day, normally? Oh, about um, 20 or so. Yeah, about a, yeah, so about a pack. Yeah, 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 and that's what I did. Yep, yep. So, no, I, I wouldn't say that it's too late. Um, I, I, I had 10 years on you when I decided to quit. So, um, no, nah, but, but, you know, wait, wait, for that, uh, wait for that result. In fact, the doctors here, many of the doctors here, don't buy into the uh, hyperbole and they, they actually say look if, if you want to vape if it'll get you to stop smoking then do it so we're kind of having a turnaround i hope i hope i hope that that petition works for you guys <laughs> yeah i'm really hoping it does <sighs> and i hope guess. your uncle's doing okay oh yeah he's doing good now he's um oh he's a paramedic up at the top end of Australia. Okay. He's on holidays at the moment, but yeah, he works like mm -hmm. twelve-hour shifts a day, and it's like far out. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> hmm. 
So um, I'm gonna let's let's jump off that subject for a minute. Uh, you guys are what in the middle of summer, aren't you? Yeah. Much? Middle of yeah. summer. What? It doesn't end Tell until like the... early March. Early April, oh. <laughs> start cooling down. That's funny because we all look uh, we all look for March as the start of spring here. It's like uh, you know, oh cool, we're into March and get rid of all this cold ass weather. <laughs> I would love to have snow for Christmas. That would be so awesome. Well, I've never seen snow, so yeah. Well, where you're it. where where you're at, uh, does it snow in the wintertime, which I know is off off Christmas season? But uh, does, do you get snow? Uh, not where I am, what, um, Melbourne, no. like down oh. middle of the south of the, south middle of the country, they have a ski resort, but, um, oh, wow. okay. I'm in the lower west of Australia, but, um, no, nah, we've never had snow, but they're just starting wow, okay. to get like little bits right down the south of our country, which is really unusual. Uh, have, so have you seen snow? I have to ask. Um, we went to Germany in 98 and the snow was on top of the mountain. I was at the bottom of it and that's about as close as I've got. Oh, really? So you've like never felt snow? No. Wow. I'd love to build a You're snowman. You're like the... I tried to build yeah. a snowman out of the <laughs> frost in the freezer, but it didn't work the same. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine it would. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Well, hey, if you ever get a chance, go up into those mountains and and uh, and play around in it for a while. You won't want to for very long because let's face it, it is cold. But uh, yeah, go go up, have some fun with it. <laughs> yeah, I definitely want to go. <laughs> <laughs> See, I've I've um, uh, here in Indy, we we see snow every single year. There's there's no question that we're going to get it. Uh, usually. At the end of December, throughout uh, February, <clears throat> oh, yeah. and after, yeah, after fifty-five years, I'm I'm pretty much tired of snow. <laughs> I want to move south. <laughs> <laughs> send it here. I'll send you some of our summer heat. We're getting yeah. up to like um, forty-two <laughs> degrees and all that sort of stuff. Oh, but that's in Celsius. Celsius, so yeah. Like I was just gonna say. 100, 104 to F. Ooh. And higher, wow, yeah, around here, it's like wow. we're sick of it already. Uh huh. That's every Jeez. summer for you. Yeah, yeah. So see, now that's not an extreme we have. We uh, we sit usually right around, well in the nineties in the uh, in the summertime Fahrenheit. Oh, that's not too bad. No, it's not too bad at all. Um, up in Washington State, where uh, I spent my military time, it it, it rarely got above eighty. Um, so I thought that was perfect weather. It was like fall all year round. Oh, that sounds perfect. <laughs> so what are you doing, uh, in down in the... Um, oh, well, at the moment I just like, um, stay home and look after my mum. She's oh, okay. in okay. her seventies and that, so. Well, don't. I help her. Don't say just. Play yeah, games. Don't say just. That's a hell of a job. <laughs> I'm sorry, go ahead. Uh, a bit tough, but yeah. It's not that bad. I, I don't mind, actually. I feel like I'm mm -hmm. doing something good. But um, yeah, a lot of people around town just turn around. Oh, they think I'm lazy, don't want to work, all that sort of stuff. Yeah. It's like, um, probably. I'm trying to stay awake 24-7 to look after my mom. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's a thankless job, and it's a tough job. It really is. <clears throat> yeah. Most uh, most people just uh, you know ship them off to the the nearest home. So I, I yeah, can that's for that. it. I, I really can't. Oh no, I don't know how people do that because uh, my mum looked after her mum as well. I think it's in the European side of us. All mm, family yeah, stick yeah. together. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yeah, and I think. Um, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, uh, and, and it's probably it's probably a little bit different where you're at. But even in the states, there there are there are areas uh, within the states where it's more common to take care of your folks as they get older, and you know that that just goes on for generations still to this day. 
but uh, I think the more modern um, or the more hustle and bustle rat race type of the becomes life, people tend to just you know think, okay, well now now there are all these uh, nursing homes opening up. Um, do you find that uh, fewer people are watching their you know taking care of their parents in in their sunset years than in years past? I, I knew you're only thirty six, but yeah, it's like that here as well. People are mostly sending yeah. their parents off to homes and that sort of stuff. But um, you mostly see um, the Europeans. Uh, they mm-hmm. will still look after their parents and that. But yeah, city people, not not at all. <clears throat> I live yeah, in the country, it's... so. Yeah, yeah. Seems to be a trend. And a lot of people would say where we're at is is the country. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's only because it's not on the east or the west coast and and that uh, that that seems to define a lot oh, okay. of the united states yeah um so and so you'll find it a whole lot more in the center of our country than you will at the at the uh the extremes so you know i i, I know we're not that far apart on on that for sure yeah definitely <sighs> i find it really weird how some people in america have never seen the beach before that is so weird. And mm. Americans probably think it's weird that we've never seen snow. Yeah. But yeah. Because, yeah. like, um, the beach is, like, only a two-hour drive from us. And you're usually, like, well, at least um, a couple of hours away from the beach, and that's it. Yeah, yeah. And I think that has a lot to do with climate, wouldn't you? Uh, yeah, because, like, in the center of Australia where you got all the desert. It reaches mm-hmm. like 115 F and all that sort of stuff. Temperatures yeah, not, not a lot of the, uh, poor people. Yeah, not a lot of people. Not a, pu- a lot of people. It's not a lot of population out there. Am I right? Yeah. 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 Not that much. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm really surprised that you meet so many people or you've talked to so many people from the U.S. that have never been to uh, uh, the beach because. Uh, here, let me let me let you know a little secret. Uh, most of us who are landlocked, like you know where Indiana is at. If if you look at um, a map of the United States, you can see we're we're smack dab in the middle. Yeah, we got a beach up north, but it's a freshwater lake. Um, but almost everyone I know, at one time or another, makes one or several trips to a beach uh, as as a vacation. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, mm-hmm. That that really That'd surprises me. So you. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That 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 actually rules so many people's uh, holiday. That that is their idea of the perfect getaway is to find a beach, and it's usually down in Florida, or you know the East Coast or way out on the West Coast in California, but uh, Southwest Coast in California. But uh, that that shocks me. That really shocks me. Yeah, there's quite a few. So you guys go. Huh. You guys go quite often then, right? Um, oh, not so much anymore, but, um, yeah, used to as a kid. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Weekends and that sort of stuff. Even just a day trip. Yeah, (laughs) Yeah, that sounds cool. That sounds cool. And, yeah, I I guess, I guess if I lived about two hours away from the uh, beach, I'd do the same thing. Of course, you know, it, it doesn't happen here in the heartland, but, um. Yeah, that would be awesome. My wife would love that. She's she's just a, a beach uh, nut, man. She she loves to be on the on the water. <laughs> are are you married, Snowy? <laughs> That's awesome. Oh no, I'm single. How are you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, nothing up on there. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> well, I I don't know that we need to dive into that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, I'll let you drive that conversation. <laughs> I've got a dog. If that counts for kids, <laughs> I'd say so. <laughs> I have, I have two dogs myself, and now that I'm an empty nester, I've got two kids still living in the house. <laughs> hey, that's it. Yep, got to feed them. Got to help them go to the bathroom. At least let them out. And uh, yeah, and then then yeah, exactly. you always have to, yeah, you gotta you gotta plan your day trips uh, around you know when they've got to go out. It, it's 
It's very similar. Uh, <laughs> what kind of dogs do you have? Well, it's jumping all over me now. <laughs> As they There's do. It's a rescue dog. Oh, oh okay. She mm -hmm. um, had four homes before us. And, um, she Did you say four homes? She had puppies by the time she was one. So we got her when she was two. Oh, but, wow. But, yeah, poor thing. Nobody wanted her. Hmm. Now she's living with us and settled in and absolutely loves me. <laughs> so you just got the one? Yeah, just the one. <laughs> I'm thinking about getting what, another what... one, but um, I don't want the dogs tripping up mum and that sort of thing. So oh, yeah. The one yeah. I got. Yeah, we worry about that all the time with our in-laws as well. They've got a little, you know, yip yip dog that runs around their ankles all the time, and they're not too steady on their feet, being both ninety years old. So I know exactly what you're talking about. Oh uh, yeah. <clears throat> so what breed is it? Uh, is so she? Staffy Kelpie cross. Um, she's brown and gold. Brown and, and gold. Brindle, okay. That's what you call it? Yeah. So she's a medium oh, size oh, okay. dog. Mm, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, kind of like our labs. Mm -hmm. Very yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, Very that's nice. Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, we have a lab and a uh, cockapoo, which is a mix of a cocker spaniel and a poodle. So she's a, she's a relatively oh, small wow. dog. Mm -hmm. But she's hypoallergenic. She doesn't shed at all, and that was uh, that was the biggest selling point to my wife. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had to get poodles when I was little. Because of the allergies and that sort of stuff. Yeah. I can't yeah. have cats. <clears throat> so, <laughs> dogs it is. <clears throat> oh, we're at, oh, we're at 11, 12. And that, that must mean what, uh, 12 after, uh, uh, 12 for you? Is that, you, are you, uh, yeah, 12, 12. 13 hours? Okay, yeah, so you're, you're about 13 hours difference. That's cool. <clears throat> you, do you oh, let me ask you a question real fast do you have um sure. are you even aware of daylight savings time do you have do you guys do that um, yeah we do have daylight savings Hang on. sorry um we have daylight <laughs> savings time but um i think it's all the states have it except for western australia because um, oh, really? we've voted it out. We had a, yeah. we've been uh -huh. trying to vote it in for uh, 40 years, but we kept saying mm. no. Like we had to <laughs> adjust our clocks three hours ahead, but then we ended up oh, voting okay. it out for the last time. So we'll never have daylight savings again, which is great. Yeah. But all Lucky the farmers you. had trouble with it because, you know, the cows can't adjust their clocks. <laughs> to eat and that sort of stuff so it was really hard for them yeah who would have thunk that the uh, cows couldn't couldn't adjust right <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's it <laughs> well it's funny though uh because indiana used to be the uh, the last holdout state and uh in fact when you fired up your pc and you had to set your time and everything you would have a special time slot for indiana east which would leave us on the east uh, um Eastern Standard Time all throughout the year. And then for some reason, the morons decided to change it to um, uh, Daylight Savings Time. But the reason was the farmers. The farmers kept it um, uh, Standard Time all day long or, you know, all year long. God, I wish we'd go back. I hate Daylight Savings Time. You wake up oh, when it's dark, you, go to, you get, you know, so you get off work when it's dark. It. Yeah. I mean, it's just ridiculous. I'm sorry. I'm ranting now. <laughs> oh no no you're As fine. I tend to do <laughs> <laughs> I tend to do that you know <laughs> hey, I can too on occasion <laughs> yeah you've seen some of my videos it's no secret <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> well listen Snowy um, I've got a lot of work to do tomorrow so I'm going to have to I'm going to have to cut our time short here if that's okay with you I'm so glad you... Uh, yeah, that's no worries. I'd need to go make lunch and that sort of stuff as well. 
Not lunch. <laughs> well, thank you for having me. That was awesome. I'm so glad you were finally able to uh, uh, to make it live. And and of course, uh, like always, I always invite my guests back because you know that that's what this channel is all about to uh, to talk to as many people as often as I possibly can. Why not? Yeah, I'll definitely so you will... come back. Hopefully, I make another one. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Awesome. Well, thanks so much, Snowy. I'm going to let you go, hon, and, and no I'm going to I'm going to close the show down. You uh, take care okay. of yourself. Make sure that you you make sure that you email me uh, so that I can get you as much information as I possibly can about that because I'd like to see you get off the cancer sticks uh, as soon as possible, and uh, or or do whatever. Yeah, you I'll want email to, you, you shortly. Okay. Awesome. All right. Thanks so much, Snowy. Okay. Did you enjoy the show? Hope you did. If so. Click that subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you don't miss another episode. We're on live every weeknight, weather permitting, and we know you want to get your voice heard. You want to come on the show. We know you do. Don't you be toying with me. <laughs> we'll see you live.